remember uh, 2008, 2009, my son came to see me. and My, my uh, ex had brought him. He was probably five years old. And he comes to the window and, and when they were still doing class visits and stuff like that, and he picked up the phone. And he says, uh, he says, why don't you love me anymore? I said, what do you mean, why don't I love you? He's like, well, if you love me, you wouldn't have went away. That hurt. That hurt. And this past time around, when I got locked up, I was just sitting here like, I don't want to see that again. I first got into drugs probably when I was 16, 17. My life before it was chaotic. It was chaotic. There was definitely no stability there. I can tell you right now, January 17th, 2017. That's uh, the last time I got arrested. Took took uh, almost a couple weeks for uh, drugs leaving my system. So the reason some of you treatment worked because I was ready for it too. Treatment helped me reestablish some ground rules for myself. It was three days of treatment, three days of going through workbooks, going through journaling, and that lasted for about four or five weeks. One of the first things I was thankful for was some of the therapists that I had worked with before. Like at some point, and I, I couldn't tell you what was what show was going on in the pod that we were watching, but I heard this one guy say, it's okay to be selfish sometimes. How am I gonna expect my family and my kids to wanna expect me to support them if I can't even have a solid ground for myself? There was always these other classes. Uh, <laughs> anger management was one for me. Um, problem solving, acknowledging the problem. Uh, I statements, you know, what can I do? Uh, the science, definitely learn the science. I mean, there's part of the classes that they'll teach you about the endorphins. They'll teach you about how the drugs hit you chemically. That, that was a process I needed to see. What does my life look like now? I'm stable. Married. I'm part owner of this restaurant now. I got my own ground. I built my own ground. And to me, that money can't buy that.